Oh hey guys, so you guys the camera around and wants me to introduce myself, so I will. My name is Freddy and this is our place. We're a little busier today, uh, so I'm still not done. So uh, I'll try to work with the camera on my face because she's smiling it's because they had it really close to my face. So uh, other than that, we're pretty good. All right, uh, cheers. I'm Jacob with the Federico's. I'm the one who's pushing everybody to do this reality show. Why I want to do it, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I guess so. Hopefully you guys like it. We got Lucia on the front. Hello. So how'd you get involved with the Federico? Well, it was kind of a family business thing, so it's been around for quite some time. And I just jumped it in and I turned about 18 or so. Uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, a lot of hard work. A lot of fingers burnt and stuff like that, but it's still a pretty good team. These are man working hands. Got a couple scars make some chilies and stuff like that. But other than that... What made you decide to get into Mexican food restaurant? Uh, you know, it's pretty much Fred. Pretty much Fred. It's all his influence and his family. And, you so know, you I just wanted to kind of take the media marketing experience and kind of incorporate it into the Mexican food industry and see what happens. So I guess here we are doing some reality TV, baby. Shoo! We're on TV. What's up, Mom? So you're basically taking taking it to the next level pretty much trying to that's what we do we put take it out there more to the next level it's, you know we take something that's good we try to make it better and that's what we do when we do what we do and that's how it gets done it's good Seriously. it's good that you're getting in there cooking too you're learning all the stuff you got everything oh, we down burritos and chorizos yep. enchiladas enchiladas baby make it all soup baby we do what we do when we do what we do that's how it gets Dang, you almost look like him. That's <laughs> the scary part. Like without the mask, minus the gray. <laughs> I look better, huh? I look better like this. So, Mr. Glenn, why'd you come to Federico's today? Uh, I like the tacos here. I got some pretty good size ones. Yeah, we just went on. Oh, that lady's really cool. She helped us so much when we first opened up. Big time. Actually, all our customers, and, and we were able to put our business cards there, our menus there. It was really cool. That's cool. You do bulk water? Yeah. She can get, she gets hooked up all the time. I always send like a free soda with them or, she doesn't like to get discounts or nothing, but I still give her a free soda. Or don't even tell her I'm giving her a discount because she doesn't like it. But I used to trade her watermelons for water. That's what we used to do. It's bad that. Yeah. I brought her the biggest watermelon I found in the, in the yard. It was huge. Probably, probably like a 20 pounder or something. I could carry it like this much. If it had legs on it, it would have been smoky. That's how big it was. You know that's big. Yep. My dogs didn't like watermelon until they went, <laughs> until he started eating them those watermelons. Until they moved to the desert. Yep. They're like, oh, nice juicy watermelon. Welcome to Federico's Mexican Food, where you find the dishes. Hello, my name is Jacob Oker with the Federico's Mexican Food. A reality TV, the Get Flipped reality TV show that you guys are watching right now. Being an owner of a restaurant, media company, marketing company, sometimes it's a little stressful, but for the most part, I think I'm a really mellow person. For the most part, I think I'm a very mellow person. I think I'm a very mellow person. Pretty mellow person. Yeah, very mellow person. Shells, it's a little crispy. It's a little crispy. What you want me to call you, little crispy? That one's cracked, Sonky. Cracked. Damn. That's a dollar. A it's dollar. Still good. Still good. That's profits, baby. Profits. Going down the drain. Sonky just says it's all good. Of course it's all good. It ain't your money, buddy. Shoot. My dollar. Oh, you mix the sanitized water with the clean water again when I tell you about that. Hear me, Lalo! My Where's my hairnet? That's my first job. my hairnet, man? Oh, man, I'm about to lose it. About to lose it. Oh, we have a drive through Always disappearing, man. Always disappearing. 
What's up with that, man? I don't know. I wish I could say 30 minutes. I know, like, shoot, I would. I'm, she's the one making the rules now, or what? Am I just out of here? Am I just nothing? Is that what it is, Paulo? Even like she doesn't care. Then she wants more hours? More pay? Minimum wages went up? What do you think this is? I think it can sometimes be a challenge to work with. I just don't tell him. Where's he at? Don't tell him I said it. Hey, hey. 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 Hey, do you mind dunes? Where's that? California. You're going to Cali, huh? Are you going to yeah, come back? Are you going to Hollywood? What are you doing? Are you taking an order? Yes. Can I follow you? No. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel amazing, man. You have a lot of fans, man. A lot of fans. On Valentine's Day. You can't help it, bro. 2013. You can't help it. This is a documentary on David, the life of David. <laughs> Dang, look at that. Yeah, birthday. Look at those little blue eyes. What got you in the taco industry, Lucia? No. Well, I've been in the food district for like seven years already, so. Seven the food district, huh? Is it in East LA? Everywhere. Damn, babies. <laughs> yeah, it is. What got you in the TV industry? You. Oh, you, you too? What? <laughs> Dang, Lucia. All Did you ever think they'd be making t-shirts with your name on them, your picture, your face? Oh yeah, that's that important. You knew it was just time. Yep. You know how to do the robot, Lucia? Yeah. No. You want to learn? Maybe. You know how? See what? I want to the robot. Oh, watch out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. Can't believe. I wonder where Fred is, man. I want to show that guy how to cook. Shoot, I've been learning. You know, oh, good. Yeah. Ah, burrito here, enchilada there. That's how we do. Hi. Making up new inventions and stuff. So what do you do once the order's out? Order up! Order up! Yeah. How you doing? All right, put a little, put a little red and green in there along with the napkin. Okay, but well, it's dessert. <laughs> there you go. Have a great night. Hi, my name is Peter. I found something great I wanted to tell you about. Normally when all I have is 99 cents. I stand here, thanks to Federico's 99 cent taco menu, I won't have to eat from those machines again. I feel more energetic at work. Federico's 99 cent tacos are a big hit, the whole neighborhood will love it. They are located at, 1470 Northern Avenue, Kingman. Arizona 86409 or call 928-681-465 Yeah, there's a strange thing happened tonight. Um, we're going outside eating dinner and then what it suddenly really occurred to me that it might be real. I thought it was just rumors until tonight. How could I help you? How could I help you? Yeah. Come Customer service was horrible. Yeah, well, how do you think about this customer oh! service? 
really excited so we're gonna be doing the voting out here Al from you set out some boxes you guys can vote what type of beer what type of drinks alcohol whatever you want. Yeah, welcome to Federico's how may I help you yeah can I get a taco and a beer taco and a beer absolutely can I see your ID um I don't have one but I have a mustache a mustache that is a pretty awesome mustache but I do need an ID but I have a mustache Mustache. This is a pretty awesome mustache. I mean, that is you've got to be awesome 21 mustache. for this mustache. That is definitely a 21 and older mustache. Yeah. Handlebars and all. Okay. Um, but I still need an ID. Not, not just this one, you know, the mustache? Let me see. How's it going? Welcome to the Reality TV. Cooking with Federico's. Federico's Mexican Food. CritiqueReview.com. BetterBusinessChoice.com. BetterBusinessGreen.com and the United Songwriters Association Just for you, baby. That's right. Today, like every day, it looks like it's just me who's in most of the footage. But eventually, I'll just cut the parts of me in with other parts of the other people. Don't okay, get camera time. It's just like, oh, whoa, 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 well, I'm going to show them hard to work with, somewhat of a challenge, because now they're just testing my skills, baby. Man, I can't believe they have me open all by myself. I'm here all alone. Hello? Oh, is somebody there? Hello? Oh my gosh. Hello? 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 Oh my god. Um. Please answer, Jake. Please answer. Hello, Jake? Uh, where are you at? Hello? Hello? Jake? Ah! Jess! Jess! What's going on? Oh my god. Jake, thank god you're here. Oh my god. Dude, there was so much stuff going on. The lights were flickering. The, the phone died. Um, there was a loud bang. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. I say I could be somewhat hard to work with. Somewhat of a challenge. Well, I'm going to show them hard to work with, somewhat of a challenge, because now they're just testing my skills, baby. Man, I can't believe they have me open all by myself. I'm here all alone. Hello? Hello? Jake? Ah! Jess! Jess! What's going on? Oh my god. Jake, thank god you're